Um, one of the first things that we did six years ago was invest a lot of time in working on the standards as, as it relates to IP6. So from a DOCSIS point of view, we originally introduced V6 into DOCSIS 3.0, and this basically includes both the cable modem and the cable modem termination system. I apologize if that's, you know, um, unfamiliar, uh, but if, if you have specific questions, by all means, you know, uh, you know approach after or ask questions. Um, and in many cases, for DOCSIS 3.0, one of the original interests or uh, points of interest for, for DOCSIS 3 was the increased speeds. So come, what came along with that in many cases is, uh, is really hardware upgrades. We were able to leverage that a great deal for IP6. Um, what we also did as part of our, you know, our standards activities with Cable Labs uh, on DOCSIS is we introduced support for IP6 for DOCSIS 2.0 devices. So there are a subset of DOCSIS 2.0 devices that today can support V6 for management and CPE. This is a very important point because, you know, while, while DOCSIS 3.0 is, is certainly popular um, and, and growing in, uh, you know, from a, from a deployment point of view, um, the vast majority of devices that are deployed in cable networks are usually, you know, the, the previous version. So in this case, it would be DOCSIS 2.0. So there are quite a few devices uh, deployed today in cable networks that can support V6 in some way, shape, or form. Um, and in many cases, uh, actually, you know, at least the cases where, you know, we would target, we would be able to do that and enable V6 using a firmware upgrade. 